Real nigga shit. Treat people the way that you want to be treated. Except for in Call of Duty, you can talk shit. That's cool. I needed to be the black ash ketchup. It was my destiny to be the, the Negro ketchup. Black piece of shit. But let's talk about why why all white people like spoil milk when they take their clothes off. Modern warning. Step one, get money. Step two, repeat step one. What is up, YouTube? NWN here, aka the Honorable Black Hokage, and welcome back to Black Guy Reviews. And today I'm kicking off 2014 by releasing my first solo video that should have came out in 2013. Just the past week, I haven't kind of been in the mood. To make videos and when I'm not in the mood guess what I don't make videos <laughs> and uh, today we're doing the Assassin's Creed 4 review and this will be my last review before I do my best of games of 2013 as well as my worst of games it's gonna be my first time doing this it's gonna be a lot of fun so look out for those videos um but yeah I'm rambling Assassin's Creed 4 review let's find out what I think well hello your excellency I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate. But your name was borrowed the last time we spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not stay. And I'd rather not cut Story. your lips off and feed in the book. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag puts you in the shoes of an Astergo employee. You're tasked with using leftover Animus data from Desmond to go back in time and learn the tale of Edward Kenway and the Pirates of the Caribbean as the research is going towards making a pirate game. Edward is the father of Haytham and the grandfather of Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Feeling like life had more to offer, he leaves his wife and family behind to become a privateer. He promises his wife that he'll be back in two years, but ends up being sucked into the freedom and riches that the pirate life had to offer. This leads to him crossing paths with the Templars and Assassins, where he learns that the secret war is being waged. Eventually, he becomes the Assassin's errand boy, but only because the assassination contracts earned him money, which leads to a man who becomes eternally conflicted as he dives deeper into the creed. He's a good man who's trying to find a bigger purpose with the Assassins, but his lust for fame and fortune ultimately holds him back. Without spoiling anything, the story goes a little bit deeper than that, but not like the deep end of the pool, more like the middle of the pool. Oh, all men desire to live by a code or a creed, yes. Yet when pressed, most defer to their instincts rather than the laws that bite. Gameplay. Black Flag sees you running, jumping, climbing, shooting, killing, and sailing for 30 plus hours. The formula is pretty much unchanged. Do X amount of missions in this city, but instead of riding a horse to the next city like the previous games, this time you sail a ship. Mind blowing, right? The only thing that's new about this game is the pirate life activities. You'll spend a large amount of time on the sea sailing your life away. You can upgrade your ship's armor, the cannons, and they're now even motors. The upgrades can only be acquired with cash and different materials though. Materials that need to be stolen by attacking and robbing other ships on the ocean. You can hunt whales, deep sea dive for treasure, attack forts, and more. How much you'll enjoy these things though all depends on your interest in the pirate life. Other than that, the game literally does nothing new. You still got side missions, fast travel, and multiplayer that was literally copy and pasted from AC 3 to 4. What I hated. Black Flag and Call of Duty are the poster boys of why I'm against annualizing franchises because their studios are being made to rush these games out every year for the holidays and what we got in Assassin's Creed 4 is hands down the buggiest game in the series. I encountered weird ass bugs and glitches every time that I sat down to play this game. It really takes you out the experience and it's really disappointing to see that Ubisoft has lowered their standards for a quick buck. There's also many loopholes in the story as well. The game never bothers to explain why Edward has the same assassin skills as the previous his protagonist. In AC1, Altair was raised as a child to be a cold-blooded killer. In AC2, Ezio could run and climb because that's what him and his brother would do as kids in their spare time. In AC3, Connor was raised amongst the Native Americans and that's why he could climb in trees. In Black Flag, this motherfucker just knows all the assassin skills out his ass for no damn reason. They do nothing to set up the story and it just kind of felt like I had no connection or sympathy for what he was doing. I didn't care about Edward. On top of that, the game isn't even about your skills as an assassin this time. This time the game is about whether or not your ship is upgraded enough. There are literally times in this game where I wanted to throw the motherfucking controller because I wasn't dying based off my lack of skill but because my ship's armor and cannons weren't upgraded enough. What essentially happens is the side missions are no longer side missions but instead they're mandatory because in order to upgrade your ship you need the supplies that can only be acquired from these side quests and I'm going to be frank I don't give a flying fuck about being a pirate so I had zero interest in doing these side quests and these pirate activities. 
Thus, the game became a chore. This game was made for people who wanted to be pirates as a kid, but if you're like me and you never gave a damn about pirates, then you're going to have a hard time enjoying this game. I feel like Ubisoft made a pirate game, but attached the assassin's name on it for sales. And I say this because the game does nothing to push the story forward. Like I said earlier, Edward is the father of Haytham and the grandfather of Connor. So with a little bit of common sense, take a fucking guess what happens at the end of the game. All men will submit. And would you be the devil? For an audience. Final verdict. Alright, so final verdict on this game, because I don't want anybody thinking that I hate Assassin's Creed 4. This is my two verdicts. If you've always wanted to be a pirate as a kid, pick this game up right away, pay full price, you're gonna enjoy it. But if you're like me, when you were a kid, you didn't give a flying fuck about pirates, or you don't care about them now, but you're interested in the Assassin's Creed franchise, wait till the price drops, then pick the game up. So that's my two recommendations. Did you find this review helpful? Doubt that. But in case you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. You know all that bullshit. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you want to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, link in the description box below. If you want to submit your instrumental or your music to be featured at the end of one of my videos, Info in the description box below. <laughs> Had a quick brain freeze right there. And uh, if you want to subscribe via text message, info in the description box below. Thanks for watching, you guys. But uh, you know, see you next time on Black. That's not what I say. That is not what I say. Look at it. New Year. I'm trying to come over. No, y'all know the city needs me. <laughs>